This is Boo from Boo's Beaters. It's uh, Sunday morning here. I got the okay from my girlfriend to come out here, work on cars in the garage. What car guy says every car guy's dream, right? Start with a Porsche. It had that problem that I talked about already with the sticky, sticky leaves falling on it last fall. I got most of those off, so I think it's ready for a buff and sand. Um, I'm not an expert and the, the annoying thing is I bought some really really like that fancy expensive stuff that that they market to guys like me in the same way that they market perfume to women uh, I don't remember it was like $30 a bottle and now I can't find it so what I did find was some good old stuff in a green can what is that turtle wax well, I thought I was about ready to start my buffing and polishing I opened up this uh this polisher that I got, really good deal, I thought, at, at I think Harbor Freight, um, good price. But then I opened it up and look, there's, <laughs> here it is. I came, I hate it when a tool comes with this, another tool, because a tool that needs another tool isn't quite a tool in my book. And then, so it doesn't even have a handle on it, so I gotta put that on. What the hell is this thing? I gotta put that on. So now I'm off to get the, the pads and the other parts of the car store. And because the cars were so piled up in the garage, I had to ride my bike. Nothing like when you have so many cars that you have to, you can't use them because you have too many and you have to ride your bike. That is maybe a message or a lesson or no no I'm not gonna I'm not gonna take it as a lesson I don't have too many cars I just have too small of a driveway they're all just they're all... oh man almost there my stupid bike started making a noise oh, 32 geez I should be cleaning my bike today not my car you'll notice <laughs> I like old bikes just like I like old cars. I think this just had some gravel caught up in the chain from riding in the winter. So that'll do. Finally made it. Let's see where those things are. Uh, no. No. Oh no, they don't. Whew, three, three stories down and I found some applicator pads. I didn't give up like I thought I might. I got a little more exercise and I'm getting all sweaty. Oh, so I'm finally back from my little adventure. The pads sweat are... Oh, oh. <laughs> this is quickly turning into how not to polish and wax your car video, but the pads are way too small for the machine, as you can see. Take what I can get. I wasn't ready to go any further on my bike um, and I'm worried a little that I'm going to hit the edges on this thing so don't do as I do I'm, and maybe on a few of the areas that are more sun faded and I'm hoping that this takes it right off uh, if not that's the area that I'm going to ask the, the um, auto body shop to touch up a little bit so that's my plan you can see right along the fenders that bump out and make this a cool car compared to the 924. Uh, just trying to figure this thing out now that I have it together. Oh, too small. I think I better center it well. That's pretty good. It's not flying off anyway. This thing, I think, must be the speed. Ooh, wow. Speed. I like the speed. <laughs> Whoa, that's a lot. That's not a line, that's a blob. So I'm gonna spread it around a bit. Oh, blah, blah, blah. Maybe I should start with a dent. It's big. I guess I'm not getting. Getting all over the place, jeez. Oh. All in the windows. Oh. 
broke. Jeez. Is it five minutes? Not even, I was doing it mostly by hand. Whew, I'm out of breath. That was hard work. I've got the, uh, <laughs> the stuff really got everywhere. Maybe I'm lucky the machine stopped working. Uh, did all the major areas. Um, time to wipe it off with a hair cloth or, uh, and see if there's any improvement. So, hey, I don't know if you can see this on, on screen there, but it does. Oh man, I'm tired. The shine on my forehead probably shows up better than the shine on the car. Uh, but call it call it exercise. I can use some anyway. So um, it actually, I can with this buffing compound, I can see a big difference. Oh, that is today's how-to on how to buff and wax a Porsche 944. I hope you took notes because. You might want to avoid some of my mistakes, including buying a buffer that seems like a wonderful deal, but breaks in five minutes after you buy it. Here's to you, Harbor Freight.